texting. Hey, something we all do. Many of us do it more than others, but it is done. As many of us are aware, here in the good old U.S. of A, 35 states have laws against driving and texting. And the reason for that, of course, is that the driver becomes terribly distracted. Now, a lot of people, however, particularly younger people, will say, you know, I can text, I can do this with my thumb, and oh, this is going to be super and cool, I can pay attention also. But you know, what happens? What happens if somebody gets involved in an accident and they were texting? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. And we want to talk about a real case involving a real person. This is a case that took place in Sacramento, California. It's a case involving a woman by the name of Sequoia Jones, 22-year-old woman. She's driving down the freeway. And she was texting. And as she was texting, she was paying attention to her text, obviously, and she clipped a motorcyclist who was in front of her caused the motorcyclist to fall from his bike, and a following vehicle ran over him and killed him. Well, she was charged in a case involving vehicular manslaughter. And because she was texting at the time, the case went forward. The judge considered that as a major element in the case and sentenced her to five years in prison. That's right, five years in prison. A woman texting sentenced to five years in prison. Purpose of this is very simple, good and gentle people. It's simply to advise that the laws are on the books and when you get involved in a scrape, literally, you bang into another vehicle or you hit a pedestrian or you hit somebody on a bicycle or on a motorcycle and you've been texting, whoa, this is really bad news. It's very bad news that will be taken into consideration during the case, during a finding of liability and in short, you've got a major strike against you if you're texting while driving in a state that it is against the law. Also, will be found to be a factor against you in states even where there is not a law prohibiting you from texting while driving because it is an indication that you've been engaged in some other activity. You might say, well, big deal, you know what? I'm not going to tell them I was texting, you know what? those text records, that transmission is available, is subject to subpoena, and people can find out whether you were involved in texting immediately prior to the accident. Okay, hey folks, we just bring you this story, as we bring you a story every week, so you understand how the law works, so you can make the law work for you. I'm David Allen.